guys, the part two of the global six-year anniversary is here over on Global Dokkan. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at everything that is coming um, as part of part two, again, of the six-year anniversary. So we have missions. They, I mean, see, this is funny. They outright just show the top legendary summon banner um, on global, right? Obviously, when, like, when it comes around to being on JP, uh, it's hidden. Like, we don't know what it is until the actual Twitter reveal and stuff like that. Uh, July 25th, by the way. Okay, so that's very, very good. Um, that I, I, I'm glad to say that sometimes I am correct in trying to guide everyone out there. Uh, I was saying the 25th is exactly when that banner was going to be going live. And it also does confirm as well that that's when you can use the tons of thanks ticket. So it is going to work exactly the way it did on JP. Which is, if we go here, the second that this goes away is when the top legendary summon banner and the tons of thanks tickets can work, right? Remember, you guys will be able um, to use your tickets um, on like an exact replica of this banner, of this banner, and then of course also of the top legendary summon banner right here. Now, I want to tell you guys right away, please, I'm, if you ever listen to me ever, listen to me. This banner, 17 and Golden Frieza, is horrible in every way, right? It's like, you're talking about, like, I mean, I don't, I'm just telling you guys right now, like, I don't use these two units almost ever. This is a horrible banner to summon on. A lot of people really get caught up so fast and, oh, shiny LR must summon on the banner. I, I, I got him on a single look, so crazy. But you're never going to use the unit, right? That's the problem with a lot of LRs Dokkan has been dropping, is these are very niche units that are not going to get a lot of playtime for you guys, right? So, I don't like the idea of summoning on this banner, because the main two LRs, like, you know, if you're going to summon for... Tapiana Minosha is not a good example. Uh, I don't know, like... I'm trying to think of, like, a legendary summon you use a lot. Like, I feel like Jiren is a good example, right? Like, that's, like, a legendary summon LR you would actually, like, use a lot, is LR Jiren. But, like, a lot of times, it's just these niche characters you're not going to be using often. I mean, let's be real. I feel like a lot of you guys, you, you know, you're going to be running your Realm of Gods teams, your Kamehameha teams, and stuff like that. Um, it's, like, you really can... I mean, Dokkan is, is way different in Legends. I was going to say really sort of, like, think about, like, focusing on categories to summon on rather than, like, summoning on every single banner, but... I don't know. And it's like, let's like not even talk about the main two LRs, right? Look at this. <laughs> Literally, like, this guy is good, right? For sure. Very good. Um, this freeze is pretty solid. Uh, this freeze is okay after he awakens. The All the 17s are basically fodder. I mean, this guy is okay. This guy is actually probably one of the more underrated units in the game because he's actually like a solid option. But, like, literally no one ever talks about him ever. Um, and then this guy is obviously very good as well. But, like, these are all just all old-ass units. That's why you don't want to summon on Legendary Summon Banners, man. Because, like, you summon on the main Dokkan Fest banner. You didn't pull UI Goku, but you got LR Buhan. You didn't pull LR Evolution Blue Vegeta, but you got, you know, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, who's still a good unit. Don't listen to people that says he's bad, right? He's just not, like, mega top tier anymore. Um, whereas, like, on a top Legendary Summon Banner... You, you know, you don't pull 17 or Golden Frieza, and then you pull, like, GT Frieza, who you're not going to use, right? He sucks. So, um, be very careful. If you want to toss your tons of thanks tickets at this banner, sure. I mean, you guys, you know, again, it's an exact replica of the banner. A lot of people out there are going to pull a lot of LRs from those tons of thanks tickets. I mean, that is definitely going to happen. Um, but you guys just need to play it smart, right? Global players, you know, this banner is dropping on July 25th, right? So let's go ahead and do this. So July 25th, all right, is uh, next Sunday, sun this Sunday, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, like almost exactly five weeks to the day we're going to be getting the Worldwide Download Celebration banners. Probably one of these three days they're going to drop, 29th, 30th, 31st. I am thinking Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and Omega Shenron. Um, who knows? Maybe it could still be like the Broly movie or something like that. But probably like a Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta or something like that. Um, by the way, people will say, well, they're not going to release two Super Saiyan 4, Gogetas in one year. Number one, 
for JP, Gogeta came out last year. That's the release schedule that they're really paying attention to and caring about. You guys know that's true. And number two, they also don't give a fuck, right? <laughs> 2020 was the year of Vegito. I promise you, they could drop standalone Blue Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in this calendar year, right? We could get, like, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta at the end of August, and then we could get Blue Gogeta for New Year's or something like that. I promise you guys that could happen. So, you know, definitely keep that in mind. Um, as far as these units go, this unit is really good. The problem is you must use them on reps of Universe 7. And the thing is, this is not a category with a, a few... You have so many options, especially after the anniversary, man. Like, it, that's the thing about this unit. Is it's just like... This design is, is good. Like, I'm okay with the design. I'm okay with everything about the character. The problem is that it's a reps of Universe 7 unit. Like, if this exact character was just, like, joined forces instead, I'd like him a lot better, I think. Because that would really be a major character for that team specifically. But Rest of Universe 7, you've got a million options for this team, man. You The free-to-play options for Rest of Universe 7 are just as good as these... Like, like I would argue, probably, Roshi above both Team Universe 7 and 17 and Golden Freeze. I think I would. So, like, it's just, please don't go crazy on, on this gold coin legendary summon banner. And this unit, I don't even want to talk about them right now. They're okay. Like, they're just, like, okay. Right? They're, like, do I, like, I, I want to say they're a worse Gohan and Goten, but, like, they are better than them, right? I, I don't know. This, you guys have heard me talk about a million times. This, mechanic, not the crit. The, I think building crit during the turn is cool. That's fine. But building damage reduction during the turn, uh, no, dude, nah, um, no, 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 we're good on all that, um, all right, top legendary summon banner, um, again, so this is where it's telling you guys you could use a tons of thanks ticket, again, on JP, they don't give us this shit ahead of time, right, <laughs> but yeah, they, they're basically, these three banners, you could choose where you want to use your tons of thanks tickets on, um, honestly, I, you know, I would recommend going for these guys, but I mean, you know, those are just free tickets, you know, do whatever the hell you want with, with, with those, right? Just don't really put stones into this banner is what I really want to ask you guys not to do. Um, we have the new stages added to the Roshi story event and the Miracle Universe 7. There's a new support memory in here. There's, you know, uh, <coughs> a sneeze. Uh oh, someone is talking. Who's talking shit out there? Which Reddit is it? The Dokkan Reddit? The Legends Reddit? Who's talking shit? All right, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so you have the three Awakenings, right? You have the Physical UI Goku, Krillin and 18, and Tien and Roshi, um, as well as the new support memory, the 17 and 18 support memory. And then you can awaken Roshi to LR. Another thing about Roshi, again, I think Roshi is borderline top 10 unit in the game. Not only is he, you know, as good as, you know, summonable LRs in 2021, the best free-to-play unit in the game. He does everything, support, revive, active skill, ceiling, stun, dodge. He does everything. He's got a solid link set. He's on a lot of category teams. He's also easy as hell to get. He's like the easy, one of the easy, of all the best units in the game, he's probably the easy, easiest unit to get among all of the best units in the game. Like, if you take the top 25 units in the game, which Roshi is definitely in, He's the easiest to get. So what are we gonna say? He's easier to get than AGL LRUI Goku? No, <laughs> no, right. So that adds, I think, bonus points to him. In UI Goku's easy A is here. Um, obviously, you guys know that's really good. I did a level ten link video on him earlier today. Um, I've been doing a lot of like you know Super Battle Road runs, a lot of the new Super Battle Road stages like Pure Saiyan and Universal Survival Saga. I've been using that guy a lot over there. If you guys have seen, he's been fairly good on those stages as well. Um, he's really good. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, you could probably argue him as the best easy ATUR, but I just think he's just not good enough until he transforms personally to put him above, um, cooler in the super saiyan fours. Um, but he is obviously tremendously powerful. Very, very great unit. Uh, four new stages of the God of Destruction event are here. Um, Champa, Beerus, Liquor, and Iraq are here. Um, Beer is probably the hardest among the four fights. Uh, there is a new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History, which is up. Uh, that's cool, because it's against the uh, Warriors of Universe 7. Uh, I think it probably is the hardest stage in there um, as well. 
right? Like, you guys can let me know if you think that's true, but um, I believe the Wars of Universe 7 one um, is definitely the hardest um, among all of the different uh, Infinite General History stages, and it's designed directly to counter AGL UI Goku as well, right? Um, AGL UI Goku, of course, uh, you know, the last enemy is tech and they cancel dodging. Next, we have another one of these team co-op campaigns. These are really fun. Um, this one is really cool because this is the one where you have to use three or more reps of Universe 7 category characters at once, right? So, like, I remember, you know, during, you know, February in the sixth year anniversary, I was building up a lot of points for this while grinding up my links, which is really, really cool. So, um, yeah, you know, get get your awards. Hopefully, Goresh and Toon Rami are in the same bracket this time. Uh, I'll have to reach out and see. Um but yeah, I think this is fun because it's kind of like you're just getting like you're accumulating points. It's sort of like not really like a co-op or anything, but it is a little bit of a mini competition. It's just so easy for them to just artificially say, OK, you use three of reps, you know, seven character, you get one point. Right. And then they match up with other people and it's a competitive thing. Right. It could be fun. So nothing wrong with that. Right. Um, all right. Then there is more sales, which is good. I will be doing some summons on the top legendary summon banner, of course. Um, now again, everyone's going to say, you tell us to skip and then you summon. It's like, well, well, yeah, dude, like I, I'm not a free to play. Player. <laughs> right. And it's like, listen, the point is to live vicariously through me. When you see me go 10,000, like remember tech ultimate Gohan on the AGL UI Goku banner in on JP in January slash February between copy. What was it? I think it's copy three to four of tech ultimate Gohan. I went over 10,000 stones in between copies. That's not an exaggeration. It's not a lie. It's all recorded, all on camera. I went over 10,000 stones between a featured unit. I don't recommend spending money in these games. I don't recommend buying a lot of these sale packs. I'll do it and then watch me get shafted like crazy, right? Um, Elder Kai banner. I will be going crazy on that. We need Elder Kai banners. We need Elder Kais in this account. Uh, and then, oh boy. All right. I'm going to do a separate video on this. We're going to see how, how good our luck can be. The friend summon. So, and then there's golden weekend missions. There's a new, uh, set of Patan battle coming on the 25th as well. Um, it is Android saga slash Tapion movie. So like super saiyan three Goku and some character. Actually, can I hold on? I can just, it probably would be faster for me if I just log into my JP account real quick. Um, and I can show you guys the um, that what what the set is real fast just on my JP account. Um, and I think that's that's pretty much everything we wanted to look at, right? Do we have? Wait, do they have on the wiki? Do we have what this looks like? Okay, so you're able to get a bunch of Grand Elder Kai's, Elder Kai's, and that. Now here's the thing, right? I already tweeted this out. Like, just you know, be careful. Don't blow absolutely everything you've got because we haven't gotten. Um, an, a friend summon LR in quite a while. Um, LR Gray Sandman 1 and 2 come out tomorrow night. They're easy. By the way, it's weird we haven't had a data download yet. Something fishy is going on. Because, again, this unit drops tomorrow. Like, uh, almost exactly 24 hours from now, we still haven't had the data download for these three characters. So, um, you know, we'll see. The data download, it's got to be coming up soon for these guys. Um, but this was the last friend summon LR. Dude, back on August 21st of 2018. So I would not be shocked to see another one of these coming up next month. Um, but then again, I think literally this did happen last year, right? Yeah, fifth anniversary. I'm pretty sure this happens on Global. And I say like, whoa, Global players, careful. They're just trying to bait you and take away all your all of your like friend points. You're not going to be able to get the new LR easily. And then they didn't drop one. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. It's, it's, it's hard to say exactly for sure what's going to happen, right? Are they going to drop a friend summon LR? A lot of people said they're easy to build up anyway, not like they need them rainbowed immediately. Um, but it definitely can be good, right? You know, get yourself some Elder Kai's and stuff like that, man. From that, it's not going to be a bad thing. Okay. All right, let me just quickly show the set off real fast. So this is the second set right here. Again, it's Android Saga. Um, and the Tapion movie is this uh, second set. So, like, you know, you got some great Saiyan 1 and 2s in there. You got Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You got Tapion. And then, of course, you have the LR Androids and Trunks. Um, so that, of course, is the second set of Patan that will be coming out. Um, okay, now, real quick, let me check. I just want to... Okay, and then the rest is, like, the first, you know, first part of the stuff. 
Let me just go to this friend summon thing. Again, I'm going to do a separate video. We're going to see if we get any luck from here. Oh, yeah. So that's what they do. So the premium and then normal. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'm going to burn our friend points. I know I'm saying global players. No. And then I'm going to just jump in and do it. <laughs> but Hey, do as I say, not as I do. Right. <laughs> All right. So let me know what you guys think of part two of the global anniversary, uh, global six year anniversary. Seems pretty good so far. Um, I think the anniversary is the best celebration in Dokkan history, uh, for both global and JP Dokkan.